But let me share this with you, okay? And again, the thumbnail for this one, as I'm sure you all saw, Shanita exposed cast member for another plot. Because in my opinion, I do feel like all of this is a plot and these people are very desperate at this point and they're trying to do whatever they can so that they can keep the ratings for this show not realizing they are doing more harm than good and they're making the audience not want to watch the show so let me share this with you and we're going to get to talking about what um dr shanita has to say so hold on let me play this for you let me get this back to the beginning and i'm not going to play the entire video i don't think um but let me just play it and then i'll stop it wherever i feel like stopping it okay So I literally was traveling. You was ready. Life with Keisha, I was ready too because I got some of y'all on my side. So I was ready. I was like, my people in place, they 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 ready. My, my people going to have my back. I was ready this week. I was in Columbus, Ohio. Shout out to Taryn. I was at an event called Girl Lift Me Up. And I was talking to the people the night before. I'm like, listen, let me give y'all a heads up because I'm going to be here for three days speaking at an event that um, I'm going to be on TV tomorrow. And I'm not quite sure what is getting ready to happen. But I just want to give y'all a pre-warning that that's not really who I am. That's who I used to be. And now, child, when she said this, I said, Dr. Shanita, what in the hell did you do over there on that show? Because when she was like, she's one of her people. OK, just get ready. I don't want them to be shocked. That's not who I am now. That's how I, who I used to be. I'm like, girl, what did you do? Okay, I'm here for it though. But what did you do? Because those people in that show, okay, the frenemies of Mel, those little fake friends that's really her enemies, they have pulled out all kinds of tricks. And Dr. Shanita's like, I'm not having this bullshit, okay? So I had to jump out my bag and I had to go back to the girl I used to be. When I heard that child, I was like, come on, let's get this show started. But of course, you know, the show did not come on for whatever reason. And you know, in my talk, I'm going to talk about triggers and how people can trigger you. Baby, I was preparing everybody around me. And then I'm such a fool. I don't know what I did. Or something, Some, somebody's like, you dummy, that show on break. It don't even come on to- No, the person that said that, mm -mm, they are mistaken. The show was not supposed to be on break. And we all found out late that the last episode was not coming on because old Messy King got some tricks up his sleeves, in my opinion, okay? The snake of the kings, you know, or king snake child or whatever you want, king, king snake, okay? He has some tricks up his sleeve I believe in my opinion. And again, we're going to talk. Here, Shanita, this is not on you, honey. This is uh, on old Messy King, okay? And on and Discovery or whoever is in damn charge. Because, child, don't seem like nobody in charge. It seems like they all running crazy, okay? To next week. So I'm busy preparing people and getting people in place. Got my family in order. Got my folks on standby on X or Twitter X so they can fight for me. Show didn't even come on, y'all. Uh, shout out to Sunny. Uh, I got a check. Um, I want to see if me and Mel, not me and Mel, sorry, me and Sunny, um, can go live. Um, because I know Sunny, um, is feeling a certain kind of way, and I know that a lot of people might not agree or or. I think Sunny is feeling ganged up on. Um, she's feeling ganged up on. They're doing the same thing to Sonny, in my opinion, that they tried to do with Melody. And so, you know, like I said, I didn't personally, I didn't agree with how things were done. However, they are married. Dusty need to get over it. But Dusty can't take rejection. And then she has a bunch of pick me friends over there as well who are um, they hip they're hypocritical. And so because Dusty is their friend. The same way, or I'm sorry, they pretend to be friends, okay? Because they only friends because they came together to go against Melody. But since they all are against Melody, they're all going to stand together against Sonny now because old Dust Bucket, Dustiana, okay, got bust down but didn't get a wedding ring because Saint didn't want to be bothered with her and her little feelings is hurt yet again, okay? Big D energy don't seem to have nothing going on, but you know, hopping from child let, let me shut up 
I ain't gonna say what she been hopping on, but but let, let me just go ahead about my business, okay? Because let me tell you something before I before I finish. Just because you laying around with men and giving your body to men and you know and running back and forth and, and losing time because time is the most precious thing that we have, doesn't mean that it's going to end in a relationship, especially when you've been spending the block for 10, 15 years. Because that man already showed you what he felt about you. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had you hanging by a string for so damn long. But let's go on, child. It's neither here nor there. Let's go on. Believe what she's saying. But unfortunately, I do. I don't know that lady from a can of paint. I just met her on that trip, literally. If I took a lie detector test, my first time ever meeting Sunny in my entire life was when she came through the door in St. Thomas. We had no prior conversations we didn't meet by chance uh because it's somebody on that show i can't wait for them to show up who kept saying yeah you know me we know each other i'm like girl where i know you from oh we're gonna get it's coming y'all now i believe that she's talking about dusty okay i've heard other content creators say that she's talking about dusty on as well and she said i can't wait for that person to come you know, you're going to see when that person come. Everybody else is there, okay, except for Dust Dustiana. So that leads me to believe that it's her for one. I believe that she's the one that's saying that. And also, she's Dusty is also the one who always act like she knows some damn body, okay? Always trying to put 20 on 10, okay? Always trying to spin a block and spin a story. She acts just like hotel. Okay, I don't know if it's some type of child. I'm not even going to give her out. I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to say she has um, a lying ass spirit. I shouldn't say lying ass spirit in, two, in the same word. But yeah, she's a liar. Put it that way. I feel like she lies a lot. And because she wants attention, she's going to act like she knows somebody. But there's something different. There's a difference between you and I being friends and you and I working together or you and I being associates or you and I passing each other somewhere or seeing each other somewhere, right? They use this word friend too lightly on this show. Anybody is a friend of theirs that join in their mess and they call them friend, okay? Whoever they want to join up against becomes their friend. Now, Dr. Shanita is going to explain to us what she feels about these so-called friendships. I'm like, I know you. Yeah, you know, y'all got to wait for it. Because see, that's what I be saying. People get stuff twisted when they say they know somebody or we friends. If you ran into me somewhere or we happen to be in the same place at the same time, that don't mean you know me. That mean me and you was at the same place at the same time. That don't mean we know each other. You ain't even got my phone number, girl. But see that TV thing, that thing, it be making. This is another reason why I feel like she's talking about Dusty because she also brought this up, you know, at the table, what we saw on the preview, right? And so, well, actually, I think the ladies was talking and she asked about the friendship thing, okay? Basically, what do you call a friend? So I'm believing again that this is about Dusty because Dusty claimed that her and Sonny was friends. And Sonny said they were not friends. She was working with her and she was doing her job. That's what she said. So again, this makes me think that she's talking about Dusty, okay? Because now Dusty is saying she know her. Now, if this is Dusty Honor that's saying this, and Shanita is saying, I don't know you because I saw you in passing, and Dusty wants to uh, take this and use this as another narrative and another story, I think she's just trying to pick up a storyline however she can. Because at this point, what are you going to do when the storyline with you and Sonny is over and done with? And it's pretty much over and done with. Okay. You coming at Mel, but yet you sitting there begging Melody, you know, and trying to explain to Melody, I did not sleep with Martell. And if you don't know, I'm telling you, girl, why would Melody believe anything to come out your lying ass mouth? Mel's not going to believe nothing that you have to say. And I wouldn't either. You over there with her, with her ex all up in the whole face that he was you know he was around talking about that's his family but he don't even name that girl as his family and if he do she's a damn fool because he's treating her like trash and she been pretty much treating him like trash too well i guess trash you know deserves trash so, so anyway in spite of that 
you used to be Melody's friend, or so you say. You said you loved Melody. You know, you said that you were moving on, but yet and still you back on the show. And here you go again, back, you know, running your mouth when it comes to Melody doing Martel's dirty work, in my opinion, because you sound just like him. And some of the things that you are saying on what we saw in the preview is just nonsense. It does not make any kind of sense at all to say that Melody was helping Coleslaw learn how to cheat, you know, with respectful cheating, teach her respectful cheating. That's crazy as hell because why would she leave him? And you weren't saying that shit either when you were friends with her, but now you're saying something totally different, which is crazy to me. And yeah, we're going we gonna to talk about Dusty a little bit. This is crazy to me because here you are over here crying over a man that is not your husband. Don't want to let the man go. Reminiscing time with something. You could, if you wanted to get back with him, you could. Why would you even think about that? Right? Why would that even be in your mind? And pretty much, you know, upset with Sonny because Sonny is now married to your ex, you know, bed partner. But yet you think it's okay that you are running with hotel with Cole Slaw, the tramp, and posting Melody's children with this woman, okay? And then got a nerve to say that is his family. So you're trying to help him get on the show. And here she goes again. I'm telling you, y'all, I just feel like this is some type of sickness this lady has when it comes to Melly. It's like she's obsessed to me. And that's my opinion. You so obsessed with her that now you need to latch on to her friends and act like that her friends, her friend is your friend? That you know her? And she's saying you don't know me, but you want to insist that she does? You do know her? Like, shit, if somebody told me, girl, we ain't friends, I'd be like, okay, what well, hell, we ain't friends then. If they say, I don't know you, I'd be like, okay, what the hell? Well, I, well, we don't know each other. But I feel like in her obsession with Melody, she wants to latch herself on to the things that's connected to Melody. Even when it comes to, oh, no good for nothing, Tisha and Kimmy. Okay, they are Mel's throwaways. Mel threw them away. She's not friends with them no more. And here comes Dusty again. You ain't nothing but the cleanup chick. Okay, that's all you are, Dusty. You go and get Mel's leftover so-called fake-ass friends. You over there with her leftover ex-husband. You know, you just you just the cleanup chick. That's all. You the cleanup woman. You're nothing else but the cleanup woman. And what you need to do is move on. But let, let me go ahead and let Dr. Shanita go on before I go you know, just keep on going off when it comes to Dusty. She is one of the worst type of people to ever have been a friend with, in my opinion. I would never want a friend like her. She's too obsessed to me. And she does not know how to let go like a lot of these women on this show because I feel like they have mommy abandonment issues and they don't know how to let go and they don't know how to be rejected. Rejection is a thing that they cannot deal with. And so they hold on, even as, if it's a toxic holding on, they still are going to hold on. Same way she's trying to do with Sonny and the same way she's trying to do with Moses. And I feel like she's so fighting, she's fighting so hard is because she feels rejected by Sonny and Moses. Child, let me just talk a little bit about Dusty, okay? Let me just talk about Dusty. I feel like Dusty has, first of all, I feel like she needs this storyline. Because she needs the money. Okay. We know she got what twenty thousand dollars she gotta pay LeBaric. Okay, so she needs the money however she can get it, child. And also, I also do feel like she does have abandonment issues and she does not like rejection. Don't take it well. She does not take rejection well. Have you ladies ever watched those shows over there on Lifetime? You know, I used to watch Lifetime. Okay, me and my mom used to sit and watch it child and we used to just be talking about some of the crazy things that happened on lifetime was a knife lifetime movie network so some of those women you ever watch one of those shows and those women be crazy as hell and be trying to take over another woman's life that's what dustiana reminds me of right wants to take over her life wants her man wants her children wants her home and wants her friends 
Mm-hmm. What was the show? I think single white female, single black female. That's what I see Dustyana as. It seems like she wants to connect herself however she can. So in male situation, I feel like she's connecting to all of male throwaways. Martel, Tisha, Kimmy, Marceau, Maurice, those are Melody's throwaways. I feel like she's trying to hold on to Sonny and Moses with this storyline because she needs the money. But also, I don't think that because of her rejection issues or her mommy issues, I feel like she feels rejected by Sonny and Moses. But women tend to be more upset with the woman than they do with the man. So instead of her being more upset with Moses, as you can see, she's very upset with Sonny. Because that's what women normally do. Because pygmishas have this, you know, undying love for men, no matter what the men have done to them. So I just feel like Dustyana has a lot of issues. And instead of being on YouTube talking to that dumbass lady that be over on her channel, she probably needs to be on somebody laying on somebody's couch, in my opinion, getting some real help. Because I don't think that lady is helping her. I think what she does is instigate the situation and she's making it worse. That's what I feel like. Just my opinion. But come on, Dr. Shanita, go ahead and tell us some more before, you know, this video be too damn long. People just do, you know me. I had to make sure I wasn't crazy, y'all. I had to start calling people like, do, do we? Because I say we, because my people, when we all hang out together, we all know the same people. So I was almost, I said, do we know such and such? They're like, who? I'm like, such and such. They're like, no. They're like, send me a picture. I'm sending this picture around in my core circle. Like, tell the, do I know this girl? They like, no. I'm like, have I ever talked? I went through my phone, make sure I ain't had a girl number. I was like, people play all day. You really was about to try to pull a TV move that, yeah, we know each other. Girl, no, we don't. I don't know you. You don't have my phone number. I don't have yours. We don't know each other. That's why I'm standing 10 toes down with Sonny about you, my friend, you, my friend, you, my. What is a friend? Friend is a verse. Matter of fact, let me show the shirt. Friends are people. Now, I'm going to stop it right there, okay? So if you want to see the rest of this, go over to What's Happening um, page. It is, hold on, let me make sure I got her name right completely. Hold on. It is what's, yeah, what's happening. And type in um, like Melody or something like that. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is, let me take this down. Give me a second. Um, what's going to happen is, is that uh, what's happening, a show or something comes up. So make sure if you go over there to see the rest of the video that you type in what's happening, maybe type in Shanita or Melody or something like that so her videos can come up, right? And so it seems like to me that she is talking about Dusty, okay? I haven't had time to research. I don't know if other content creators know for sure, but I have heard some content creators talk about it because of course you all send me clips, but I haven't had a chance to watch the clips because I've been training today, okay? So if you have a clip and they say, you know, they can confirm that it is actually Dusty that she's talking about for sure, send it to me. And just put in, you know, put in a, a type in, um, here's a clip. If you can, give me the mark on the clip and say here, here's the proof that it is Dusty that Dr. Shanita was talking about. So as I was saying, I just feel like Dusty does not take rejection well. She's been rejected you know, a lot on this show. Okay. LeBerg rejected her. Um, Martel was rejecting her when she was Melody's friend. Mel, you know, rejected her. Uh, she was rejected at first by Stormy, you know, and now because they've joined together, joined forces and they've come against Melody. Now they're all her friends. She's been rejected by uh, Carlos. Okay. When he kicked her off the show. Now she says she left on her own. I don't believe it. She lies, and I don't believe she left on her own at all, okay? Um, because we didn't want her on the show, and the fans said they didn't want her on the show, and she wasn't sharing her life or anything, so what was she on the show for? So she's been rejected by Carlos only to come back now. And here's the other thing. I feel like that Messi King is playing a mental mind game with her, okay? He's playing Jedi mind tricks with her. Why I say that? She's been rejected. She's like the woman that a man rejects and then, you know, he ghosts her 
And then eventually he calls back. And because he ghosted her and he treated her so bad and rejected her, now she's doing anything that he wants her to do so that she can prove to him that she deserves to be with him.